And mm -hmm. Obama's saying, oh, yeah, I'll cut the payroll tax. Well, fine. They just raised the tolls in New York City to $14, okay? You can't do it anymore. We're, everybody's up to here. This brings me to your gasoline business, and here you Please. go absolutely crazy, Mr. Friedman. <laughs> Four bucks um. gasoline is killing the working man, killing the working man. You yeah. want to raise it higher because you don't want to consume gasoline. I understand that. But we don't have any other alternatives. They've tried. They don't work. It's not here yet. You can't add more gasoline tax. Well, Bill, you know, first of all, we're going to have to cut something, all right? Now, do you want your Social Security cut? I'm not even going to take my cut? Social Security. I'm lucky enough okay. where I'm going to give it right back to the government. But you and I maybe have that advantage, but a lot of people don't. Right. And so we're going to have to, Bill, we've got to get revenue from somewhere. You can get Why revenue not, yeah. if, you, if you flat, fair tax it. That's the way I'm, to do it. I'm not all for tax gut, reform. Not yeah. gut the working man. Not right. pay, make him pay more in gasoline, more in tolls, mm. more in this, more in that. That's got to stop. And finally, in the Talking Points memo, the anger. Do you understand the anger growing in America? And, and unfortunately, President Obama is going to take that anger. Uh, I'm, I'm from the Midwest. I, I get the anger. Believe me, I feel some of it myself. Your odds of him being reelected? You know, I think whether the president gets reelected will depend, I think, entirely whether he can come up with a program for cutting spending, raising revenue, and investing in our formula for success that the people believe is credible. All right. Well, you better hurry up, Mr. Freeman. Okay. <laughs> That's all I can say. The book is That Used to Be Us. We appreciate you coming on tonight. Directly ahead.